hello welcome to my youtube channel i'm sally jacks tv mom if you've got yourself one of these yes a caravan if i stand a bit further forward it's a little bit bright out here because it's good weather but if you've got yourself one of these then i'm going to give you it should be 10 but i think it works out to be 11 tips that i would recommend that you buy to go with this if you're going away with your family some things for the awning some things carrying for extra food um some things for just hints and tips and tricks that I wish I'd have known about when I first start because you can use some of these for camping as well but also for the caravan so I've had this caravan now for just over six months and um, I live in it because of Covid a couple of days a week or maybe three nights a week um, but I've also taken it away with the family as well so these are my tips and tricks um, and if you do follow me on a regular basis you will know that I'm an absolute I'm like well, I search things to the nth degree and I hunt around for the best things that you can possibly do. I believe I've got some really good stuff, really good tips um, for your caravan if you've just bought one that you didn't think about. So I hope you stay tuned and watch the whole thing. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you love it. Please hit that bell notification and it'll notify you for more vlogs. And also, we would love to have you part of our YouTube family. So please hit that subscribe button. Here we go. Right, first of all, one of the really cool gadgets you can get is this. And this tells you if the, both the bubbles are in the middle on that little caravan spirit level, it means that your caravan is fine to put the legs down. I then used to use the old fashioned method, but I've now got one of these. So it's a drill and you've got a piece that you can get off Amazon and you can pop it on. And this makes life so much easier because watch this. All I'm going to do is go like this and the legs come down. Tip three is these feet that you can actually attach to the end of the legs. Because when we were sold the caravan, we just had discs that we pushed underneath. This has made a world of difference. So this is also valuable. It's called a collapse um, watering can. And it's by Collapse. And there's a couple of other things that I've got by them. These bowl cleaner, I think I got from the range. And this is actually somebody's old uh, bottle who I bought the caravan from. But I use actually use Elsam. So it's blue for the loo and pink for the sink. So pink goes in here and blue goes in here. We had just arrived and the caravan was dirty from the journey I was about to clean it. But the top part is where you put around about 8 litres of water with the pink. So that's for your stink, that's what they call it. And then you put the blue in the bottom. The collapsible watering can is what I actually fill up with. And then I can collapse the watering can to put back in the front of the caravan. And that's where you get your cassette from. So you've always got to make sure that that is the correct way. So that means that your toilet inside must always have the lid shut. If you get it jammed, you can cause problems with all this inside here. So in this, now what I'm going to do is pour two litres of this and I'm going to pour a capful in this into here. Now there's some people that tell you to pour it into this part here, but actually that's incorrect. It should always be put into this bit because it can affect the rubber seal around there. So the blue goes into there, I pour it in and then I pour two litres of water into there. So the toilet cleaner, now I might do this wrong because this is very, very, very full. So I think I'm going to do, oh, there you go. You just pour a smidgen in. I made a mess of that. And then you pour the water in. I'll mop all that up. But that's how you do it because um, pink is for the stink. Cassette for your wheeze and your poos. And one of my friends who also has a um, caravan, um, because, it's, because it's orange, and then you pull this up to wheel it, he calls it the easy shit. <laughs> I have shown this in another vlog when I was showing you around what I've got in my caravan but Gary's packing it down now because we're, we're going home but this is fantastic it's by Tech Take and you put the, sh the shelves in it you can actually use it as a extra wardrobe in your awning or in your tent but you could also use it as a food somewhere to put all your food like a kitchenette and that's what we've been doing you have to excuse the state on the floor we're, we're packing up now and we're ready to go uh, but that is amazing those are your extra 
um, shelves that go into that and then it closes up and we've had the air fryer we've been cooking on the air fryer for the last four days this sounds a bit silly but this I would highly recommend in your awning you have to excuse me it's a bit of a mess because we're clearing up again today so I'm trying to film this really quickly um, but this I got a swing bin because the bin on the side of your caravan is not big enough when you've got a family there's only there's only been four of us but it just hasn't been enough so I, I watched a YouTube video somebody recommended a swing bin I picked it up for a fiver highly recommend that that's been in the awning and that's still a full bin has been changed every day i also recommend this as gary's uh, cleaning it up before we pack away so this is a um this is a seat that folds away into like a little briefcase and then um you can sit out in it when the sun's good um on a good day and i just think this is absolutely awesome this cost me between 40 or 50 pounds you've got to hunt for them because they can sometimes charge you a lot of money if you go to the outdoor places they charge way too much i think this was either from amazon or ebay i got it from and it's it all packs up into this little thing so you can take this camping you could take this for a day trip out or you can take it carry of course you wouldn't put an air fryer on the floor but i'm showing you this as we're packing up this is our tower air fryer it's from our kitchen we brought it with us it is absolutely fantastic because there's been more of us we've been uh, cooking in this however this is what I also have in the caravan when I'm on my own. So this is this is the first air fryer I ever bought. And from getting this, we then bought the big one for the house. So this is when I'm on my own, 1.2 litre. And then when I'm with the family, uh, we bring, I think it's a 12 litre or 14 litre. So we also bought this before the trip. And this is a cooler box. And um, it's about 42 litres. Um, it cost about £100 uh, because the fridge isn't big enough to store all the food and all the beer. And this plugs into an outside extension that I bought from um, B&Q. Um, Gary, where did you get the freezer from? Uh, cooler box. Appliances Direct and how much you pay? So just short of £100 from Appliances Direct but of course we're going to use that for maybe outside parties in the back garden we're also going to and you can also hook it up to your car through your cigarette lighter so um, that's really well worth it as well this is also fantastic but you might have seen this last year when I was coming out of a shielding and going back to work and I used this to carry all my food it does come on a little wheelie but we didn't bring the wheelie with us this time um, so you can fold that down and just have it separate but all your coke cans and things like that but we're packing this up today to take out because although we're going home today we're also going out first thing this morning and obviously we want a little bit of lunch so we're packing up the remnants of launch in this this i got off i'm sure it was amazon i'll try and find a link this is a blow up settee but it also rolls out into a bed so it's going to be brilliant for frankie jack and his friends when they want to stay over in the house but it's also great for our awning we used it when we went camping last year and um, this retails well have a look around the shops were selling it more than what i could get it online so i ended up i think i ended up paying 100 pounds for it and um, the cushions are from either the range or b&m and then the throws i got a pack of five i think it was they worked out to be about three pounds each but i got loads of them just in case we're cold at night and it all matches sort of the gray the be gray the beiges the okras all match with what's inside my caravan and the bees i've got a slight bee theme going on in my caravan as well they need to go in the wash because frankie jack squirted um obviously tomato sauce on that like i said it's a bit of a mess if you want to see the whole thing done up as it is because we're obviously packing down but i highly recommend this so this is what I'm putting on the um, caravan. This stops the draft coming through. So we're going to put this across here. The other one is um, the skirt. Again, you're going to have to excuse me because we really are a state because we're packing down. Um, this is called the camper. Um, the camper... Um, dometic and this is a skirt that goes on but it goes right the way back you can put shoes there's another one of these at the other side and this allows you to store all the kids toys um but if i mean if you haven't got kids it might be other things that you want to store underneath there there's lots of skirts that are done but most of them are plain i got this one so we could put frankie jack's toys etc and we could also put shoes um so the inside of the caravan didn't get messy but that didn't stop it but i've actually um taken all my carpets up because obviously it was going it's going to be messy but you can see everything gets messed up as you come in in and out 
So thank you for watching. I hope that's been really useful. It was whilst we were on a caravanning trip. So basically what I've shown you was while we were packing up. So it was in a bit of a rush because I wanted to show you each and each individual item. But I just think there's some cracking things there that uh, I wish somebody had given me a vlog on because there's lots of vlogs out there. But of course, don't forget, that's my personal taste, isn't it? Uh, so, uh, there will be more to come because there's more that I could have added, but I thought, oh, it's going to get too much uh, because there's some other stuff that I really think that you should be taking as well. But those are some of the things that I've bought that have really made a difference and made our trips a lot more comfortable.